three-dimensional volumetric assessment of resective gliomas in the pediatric population using free HORIS software. We first present the case of a nine-year-old male who presented to the ED after a month of progressively worsening headaches and one week of emesis. The T1 magnetic resonance imaging revealed a 3.6 centimeter by 3.4 centimeter by 4.8 centimeter mass of the left thalamus with an infiltrating nature and enhancement consistent with AGBM. We will now describe the technique used to obtain preoperative and postoperative volume analysis for patients with high-grade glioma. Open the Horus application with a supported Mac OS device. Utilizing the import function on the top right corner of the screen, upload an album of patient DICOM images from a CD or external USB drive. Select the album, which will display the image sequences shown. Select the desired MRI series and a 2D volume window will open. This image series can be scrolled through and viewed until the tumor is visualized. Right click on the ROI or region of interest dropdown tool and select close polygon. This will allow you to place ROI points circumferentially around the tumor. Repeat this step throughout the entire image series until nearly all slices have an outlined ROI. Next, select ROI, ROI volume, and generate missing ROIs. This will fill in any missing ROIs in the slices. After this, you will need to rename all ROIs to the same identifier. This can be done by selecting ROI, ROI rename, and selecting the bubble all ROIs in this series. Type in a name or number of your choosing. Once this is complete, you can compute the tumor volume by selecting ROI, ROI volume, and compute volume. This will yield a ROI volume with the volume measurements provided next to series name. To visualize a 3D rendering of the tumor, press 3D viewer and select 3D MIP. The 3D tumor will be visible within the patient's 3D reconstructed skull. This process is repeated for postoperative tumor analysis, which yields the 3D reconstruction shown. This image series depicts the postoperative scan after near total resection of the tumor. The postoperative residual volume was determined to be 0.4805 centimeters cubed using Horus volume analysis. The second case is a 14-year-old male who presented to the ED after one month of worsening medically retractable headaches. The T1 MRI revealed a ring-enhancing mass of the left cerebellum, consistent with a GBM. The ROI generation and tumor volume computation was performed as shown in the previous case. patient underwent near total resection with post-operative image series shown. The post-operative residual volume is shown here as 0.1010 centimeters cubed. 